Hey there, sweet peeps. I am so glad that I have my Bible here with me and I get to share a story of God's great love for us. Today, we're going to start with our Bible verse that we are hiding in our hearts all month long. And it is from Proverbs 17:17. 17, 17. Let's see if you remember it. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Let's do that again. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. Do you know who loves you most of all? Jesus loves you most of all. Remember, Jesus loves you. So our Bible story today comes from the book of Luke, chapter 7, 36 through 50. And we know that every word is true from the Bible to teach us of God's great love. So this story has some perfume in it. Do you like perfume? This is a bottle of perfume that smells like my mom. I always think of my mom when I smell this perfume, it's Chanel number no. five. She used to wear it only when she would go on a special date with my dad. So it's a good memory of perfume. Well, it doesn't start with perfume. Here is the first picture I want you to see. Jesus was invited to go have dinner with some Pharisees. Now those were the leaders of the synagogue at the time, and they were teachers and he was invited to go to their house for dinner. Now there was a lady who, well, she hadn't done very many good things in her life. In fact, she'd made a lot of mistakes, but she heard that Jesus was at the Pharisee's house and she so wanted to see him and bless him. So she showed up, she showed up at the Pharisee's house and see what she's holding there? She has, a little jar of ointment of alabaster, which is a very, very expensive, special perfume. And when she got there, she was overcome because she knew that Jesus loved her so, so much. And she bowed down at his feet and she began to cry because she was so sorry for the things that she'd done wrong. And she wanted Jesus to know that she was sorry and that she loved him. She washed his feet with the tears that she cried. She cried and cried so much that she washed his feet and then she dried his feet with her hair. She took her hair like a towel and she dried his feet. And after that, she put special perfume on Jesus' feet and anointed him. Now, that was really, really special. And Jesus received that and told her that he forgave her. She knew that Jesus loved her no matter what. And Jesus loves you no matter what. He loves you on your best day and he loves you on your worst day when maybe you're not kind or not obeying mommy and daddy like you should. And he loves you anyway. And he is beautiful. He is our friend who loves us at all times. Let's give him thanks. Lord, we love you because you first loved us. Thank you for your grace and your forgiveness. Thank you for loving us and for accepting us no matter what. Help us to love you well and love others well in this day and this week. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you too, and I hope you have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.